Hi guys, this is Katie with a creepypasta for you all. Um, the title of this creepypasta is 20 questions. Um, it's absolutely one of my favorites. Um, the author is anonymous, and so without further ado, let's begin. In the wee hours of the night, when I've had too much caffeine, I usually find myself doing those lame personality quizzes that people do on Facebook. I'm sure you've done it for yourself. What element are you? What classic horror villain are you? What was your profession in your past life? That sort of thing. You can usually tell what's going to give you just by what answers you select, but whatever. It was simply a way to pass time. Tonight is like most nights. It's late, I'm bored, and I'm surfing the web. The combination of an excessive amount of Dr. Pepper and a few bowls of some decent weed means I'm not going to bed anytime soon, but I'm probably not going to get anything done, either. I guess I could clean my apartment, but it's not like I have anyone to impress. I've been single for about seven months now, and I don't have any roommates, and I don't entertain much. I've moved out here from my hometown of Dayton, Ohio, to try and pursue school, but after two semesters I heartily lost interest and dropped out. That was nine months ago. I tried to keep my relationship going with Sarah after I stopped going to school, but I suppose she wants a man, a woman with more ambition. I suppose they all do. My job as a delivery driver pays just enough money to satisfy rent and utilities and maybe a little leftover for a few cre creature comforts, but not much else. And Definitely not anything that would add up to anything meaningful in a savings account. My coworkers are okay, but I kind of keep my distance. They are all mostly younger and only interested in getting shit-faced every weekend, and I've never been one much of a drinker. I guess you could call me a shut-in. I could lay down on the couch and watch a movie, but I lost my DVD remote and I would have to actually get up and push the buttons on the player and Besides, I've watched everything I own at least a dozen times anyways. I do have cable TV. It came in the bundle, but there's nothing on any, there's not, I've never anything on. There's never anything on and I can't stand commercials. Internet prevails. Facebook is providing to be pretty boring, as always. It's the time of night when everyone has gone to sleep and my news feed isn't showing me anything new. I scroll down for five minutes, refresh the page, and start back where I was five minutes ago. Maybe I can find something on YouTube that I haven't seen yet. Not likely. I refresh the page again. I see a quiz my friend has done. What type of warrior are you? Is the title of the quiz. My friend is apparently a Viking. I click on the quiz and answer the questions and discover that I'm a pirate. Hooray. I could not have gone living on without that precious piece of information. I scroll through some other quizzes, hoping to waste more time before I actually eventually pass out. I click on one entitled, What Decade of Music Are You? But I get a pop-up instead. Can you fool the all-knowing Ronwe? Play 20 questions now, is the text that appears in the next in the new window. I usually don't click on random pop-ups, but this looks innocent enough. I'm pretty tech savvy anyways, benefits of being antisocial, and my computer is pretty well protected. I'm also very bored, so I figure what the hey, sure, I'll play. I click the yes button in the window. Ronwe knows what you are thinking. Ronwe knows all. Is it nighttime where you are? What? That's not a typical question in the game 20 questions. I thought the object of the game was to guess the word I am thinking of. For being all-knowing. This Ronwe sure doesn't know how to play the game properly. Whatever. I'll go along with it. It is nighttime where I am. I click yes. I knew it! Ronwe is all-seeing. Are you alone? Like I would be doing this if I had any company. I click yes. Of course you are! Ronwe knows everything. Are you wearing a grey shirt? I'm a little high, so I don't even remember what color shirt what color my shirt is. I look down and sure enough, I'm wearing a gray shirt. That's a little uncanny. I click yes. Ron, we can see that. 
Ron, we can see all. Are your eyes brown? Another lucky guess, but I suppose, I suppose brown is the most common color of eyes. I click yes. Nothing is a secret to Ronwee. Ronwee sees everything. Is your name Stephanie? I'm jolted awake. How the hell does this game know my name? That is very unsettling. Unsettling unless the game is accessing my Facebook information. I am logged on to this app through Facebook, after all. Yeah, that must be it. Very clever, Ronwee. I click yes. Ronwee knows you. As Ronwee knows all, is your dog's name Lola? Did I ever post that? I... I don't think I have that in my profile information. I must have listed her as my pet, but I really don't remember doing that. I click yes. Ronwee is ever knowing and ever seeing. Is Lola at your mother's house? Okay. There is no freaking way I ever posted that on my profile. I would have no reason to. When I had moved out here to go to school, I, I couldn't find an affordable place that allowed pets, so I had to leave Lola back home with my mom. But how, how on earth could this game know that? I know I've never put that on my information. I'm high, but I'm, I'm not that high. Hesitantly, I click the yes button. Of course she is. Ronwee always knows. Is your living room lamp off? Ha! A swing and a miss, Ronwee. A swing and a miss. I turn around with an intense feeling of relief as I look at my living room lamp, which is clearly on, laughing, I click. No. You cannot lie to Ronwee. Ronwee sees. As soon as I read these words, the light bulb in my living room lamp burns out. I seize up with dread. What the hell is going on? Are you out of light bulbs? I pause and think for a minute. No, I am not out of light bulbs. I have a pack of light bulbs in my kitchen drawer. I click no with a smirk on my face. Ronwee knows all. I would check again. I'm about to prove you wrong on this one, Ronwee. I leap out of my chair and rush to my kitchen and find the drawer where I keep the light bulbs. I rip the drawer open and see the familiar cardboard box. I take the box out and see I have one light bulb left. I remove the light bulb from the box. Shows how much you know. What the hell do you call this? I yell at the computer. I triumphantly thrust the light bulb into the air, but as I do, it falls out of my hand and shatters on the ground with a pop. I can't believe it. I stare blankly at the shattered remains of the light bulb before deciding I've had enough. I rush over to my computer and click on the X of Ronwee's window, but nothing happens. I click on the X repeatedly, but to no avail. Do you want to stop playing? Hell yes, I want to stop playing this creepy ass game. I shout to my answers as I click yes. We can't stop playing now. We have to finish. I'll be damned if this happens. I open my task manager with the intent of closing the process, but it doesn't even show up. I stare blankly at the screen before one week's next question appears. Did Sarah leave you because you are a broke and worthless loser? What the hell? No, I scream at my computer as I fervently mash the mouse button and click no in Ronwee's window. You cannot lie. Ronwee knows all. Ronwee sees all. Are you angry? Angry is an understatement. I'm fucking livid. I click yes, eager to get this over with. I don't know what the hell is going on, but if Romney wants to ask his 20 questions to humiliate and infuriate me, then, well, let's have them. Romney senses your anger. Romney sees into your soul. Is your phone ringing? No, my phone is not ringing. I shout as I click no, but as soon as I do, my phone starts to ring. My heart sinks. I feel nauseated, nauseated nauseated as a sense of dread sweeps over me. I know I shouldn't answer my phone. Some instinctive part of me begs me not to answer the phone, but I only want to get this over with. I look to Ronwee's window to see if he will contradict me, but no text appears. The phone continues to ring. Hesitantly, I pick up an answer. Hello? I nervously, nervously ask him to the receiver. No answer. Only the sound of heavy breathing. 
Hello, I shout, but the breathing continues. It sounds feral, like a wild animal that is anticipating a meal that is long overdue. New words appear in Ronnie's window. Can you hear me? I instantly hang up the phone. I stand staring at my computer screen for what seems like an eternity until I finally regain my senses. This has gone on long enough. I'm shutting this down. I click on my start menu and click the shut down, but it has no effect. Fine, I'll shut it down manually. I hold the power button on a full, for a full 20 seconds, but nothing even happens. Are you trying to shut me down? I click yes, hoping it might have some effect. Are you succeeding? I click yes, then I yank the power cord out of the wall, but my computer remains on. You cannot shut Ronnie down. Ronnie has unfinished business with you. Is someone at your door? I listen intently for a few fearful seconds, but I do not hear anything. I click no, and as soon as I do, a slow and loud knock is sounding on my front door. I cry out, now gripped by pure terror. Ronnie asks yet another question. Are you going to answer that? I start to sob uncontrollably as I click no. I beg the computer to stop tormenting me, to please just leave me alone. But yet another me message appears on Ronnie's window. I thought not. You are a coward. You are a worthless waste of life. That's why you are alone. You have squandered your existence and you are not worthy of the air that you breathe. Our business is almost concluded. I have but one final question for you. I am hysterical. I want this to end. I want whatever is knocking at my door to just go away. I'm pleading with Ronwee to just ask his last question and be done with me. Ronwee torments me with an unbearable weight before his final question appears on the screen. Are you going to die tonight? I read this question over many times. I managed to stop crying. The knocking on my door has stopped. I gather what little resolve I have left and pray that my answer will be proven true. I grab the mouse and click, no. For a moment, nothing happens. Then a message appears on the screen. Ronwee knows all, and Ronwee sees that you were wrong yet again. My front, front door crashes open. I turn and see the last thing I will ever see in my life. My final moments are spent beholding the awful face of death as its jaws are open wide to devour me.